Alright okay, guys, I'm in Sprouts and I'm pretty sure my um, battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna try to get what I can, then I will film when I get it. Water it is. Sprouts, spring water. Yeah. We're not allowed to get any complete cookies. It's right after a really good workout, like when you're all motivated and inspired because you're not going to get a bunch of crap because you just kicked your own butt. Anyways. Oh, complete cookie! <laughs> Wait a second. Dark chocolate rice cakes made in Italy. I'm gonna try it out. Yes. So I did have enough batteries and sprouts. I think I filmed the whole thing. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say hi. I had a really, really good workout. If you guys watched my shoulder workout, I just kicked my own ass. Actually, Ryan the one kicked my ass, but um, <laughs> it was just a really good. I'm feeling stronger, and I'm feeling like I have like just more energy, and that just comes from you know every day. And uh, my diet's been getting cleaned up, and I'm. Just feeling good. So I just had to show you what I was wearing because I know you guys already saw it, but um, these pants. So they're definitely, the quality is like far beyond her old uh, leggings. And these pants are so cute. And I also think they're really flattering. Like I feel like they make me look skinnier. And I think it's because you've got the different colors maybe or something, but I got so many compliments today at the gym and I just felt really good wearing them and they're super comfortable. These run a little bit different than the other ones. These are a small and these seem to fit me just fine. And then the other ones were a medium and those were like really tight. So anyways, I don't know if you could see the back. They're just really freaking cute. And then the front has the little... Um, yeah, just, I just really, really like them. So that is it. And uh, yeah, a little compliments on my glasses too. Anyways, I was going to do a really quick, let me unload my groceries. Um, hopefully the camera doesn't die, but let me unload my groceries and then I will show you guys what I got, even though you kind of already saw it, but I'll show you what I got and the reason why I got it. So, yeah. so I picked up... Some chicken breast cutlets. I also picked up some chicken stir fry. Um, these are just a little thinner, so I'm gonna grill just to have a different variation. Picked up uh, Brussels sprouts. I picked up two of them because um, I'm meal prepping for two people on that. And then I picked up um, some, oh God, you guys are gonna like be pissed because I totally picked up tilapia. <sighs> I don't know, I, I actually really enjoy tilapia, so I'm pissed that they're, um, they're so gross, but these are farm raised. So, you know, at least they're better than the crappy. I'm just going to forget it. <laughs> um, ground turkey breast. 
I picked up some of these dark chocolate rice cakes. I wanted to try them out, and they're not too bad. I figured, you know, wouldn't hurt to just have one um, as a snack. Um, diced yellow onion, diced red onion. Picked up some uh, strawberries. I'll have these at night. Um, I'm going to try this uh, garlic sauce coconut aminos. So that was kind of fun to have something different. I always add this in all my stir fries. Um, the red jalapenos. I'm going to add that to my turkey. I got some of this uh, squash. I'm going to be doing some um, spaghetti squash for my lunches and dinners. I got some fresh cilantro, and I also got some fresh Italian parsley for my salads. Shredded iceberg lettuce because it's delicious on my tacos. I know it's silly because I also got lettuce, um, but this is already done. <laughs> I got some of these um, uh, Zima tomatoes. These are the yellow ones, and then these are the red ones. I got some more rice cakes organic um, sweet broccoli. I love those. Um, just a cucumber, English cucumber. I got the white uh, sweet potatoes. I got some wild rice to change it up. I picked up some fresh lime for my tacos and different things. And then I already have the white corn, but I picked up some yellow corn um, tortillas to change it up. I also picked up some of these um, medjool dates. And I'm going to do a recipe. If you guys aren't following Fit Home Health, Fit Home and Health, I think it is. Her name is Emily Frisella. She is, um, oh, look, it's here. Look who's here. Hello. Anyways, I was just showing in my grocery haul. Um, anyways, Emily Frisella, find her on here. I'll leave her link down below. But she has some incredible recipes, and she uses some of the first form, um, protein. Uh, obviously, her husband is the owner of this farm, but she's an incredible chef also. And um, she had a couple of recipes that I really wanted to try. So I picked up some random things to hopefully try some of the recipes. But anyways, I'm going to eat something because I'm starving and then I will get ready to start cooking. All right, I'm just doing some of that rosemary balsamic um, grilled chicken. And I'm going to also do this um, cauliflower. I'm going to try out this coke, uh, garlic sauce coconut aminos. And then I'm going to throw in some of this jasmine rice that I have left from Trader Joe's. Um, also, I'm going to preheat the oven to 425 for the broccoli, or for the Brussels sprouts. And then for the fish, 425 as well. Alright guys, I'm going to use some of the um, Israeli spices that I picked up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have no idea what it says. Um, this is just really, really spicy. And then this is another mixture that I got um, that's really, really spicy. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that over my fish. And I like really spicy, spicy, so I'm okay with it. I'm just going to wait for the stove to get ready, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Brussels sprout pan ready to go. Alright, just wash the Brussels sprouts really good, and then we're going to cut them in half. You're gonna be doing the thing. No, I was just curious. Oh, okay. Current situation, I shorted the burners. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, 
making my lunch and I shorted the burners. Of course, Sophie has to go out. So, change of plans. We're probably gonna have to grill some of the veggies and some of the stuff, but at least I cooked my lunch. It looks good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, I put the fish in already for 25 minutes. I like to overcook my fish, so if you guys want to do it, it would probably be like 20 minutes, but on 425, I feel like it cooks really fast and it um, cooks well. So I've already prepped the pan for the Brussels sprouts and um, I put the foil in and some of this olive oil spray. And um, the first round is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do some pepper and garlic and then I'm going to spray it with olive oil again. So let me just get that. All right, so I just, I grabbed some fresh garlic. The only problem with fresh garlic is that it will burn, but I don't mind it burning because I just love the flavor. So I'm gonna do a little bit, like a heaping tablespoon of it. Um, one side and another tablespoon on the other. And then I'm gonna do some fresh ground pepper. do some of this garlic powder as well from um, Save A Lot that I got. And then I'm going to do some fresh Mediterranean sea salt grinded, not fresh, what am I saying? <laughs> a ground, just a very light sprinkle across. Okay. And then I'm going to take some more olive oil and I'm just going to spray the top. And then we're going to mix it. spatula or whatever you want and just get careful of the foil but just get a good mix and of course you can use regular olive oil this the spray is just a little bit easier okay we're gonna do two batches of this so Try to get it as flat as possible. And we're gonna stick it in the oven. And we're gonna put it in there as long as we possibly can. The better, the more you forget about it, the better it turns out. All right. All right, the second batch is ready to go. And then I am just gonna check on the fish. There's only two minutes left. And it actually looks really, really good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. And. potatoes now and I'm actually going to weigh them beforehand um, to get a little bit more accurate sorry this is crooked a little bit more accurate uh, weight alright so I'm going to go ahead and wash these up Okay, now that they're all washed up, I'm going to go ahead and cut, we're going to do three ounces, so, alright, so that's four ounces, I'm cut the end off. So that's 3.2, so that's good enough. We're going to go ahead and do uh, three ounce cuts.
Alright guys, we're going to do the brown short grain rice and we're going to do two cups and four cups of water because we're doing double the serving. So yeah. Alright. Oops. One cup, whoa, whoa. Okay. One okay. cup of rice. I only did one potato. Unless you need them for the kids, will they have sweet potato? No. Yeah, but I'll make it. Right? She'll eat it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just make it now? And pull it out of the fridge and heat it up. <laughs> so let me think. Two what? cups of rice. Let's do water. Well, I only need the sweet potato once a day, right? Because I don't have any of that. Which one? Did you not just eat lunch? I did. You did eat lunch? She did. I'm still hungry. Do you want... I don't even know what she has here. Um, I just didn't bring you food. Rice cakes, peanut butter, let's see. Oh, you know what I might have? Two cups of water. <laughs> Guys, I completely forgot to pick up the camera because I was in the midst of prepping, but I just wanted to show you guys um, what I did. I already put the chicken and everything on the grill, but this is just uh, the fish, Brussels sprouts, and rice, and it's a third cup of rice, one cup of veggie, and then the fish, and then Samson. Um, so yeah, these are the, and then that's, hi. hi. <laughs> and then, um, so yeah, so that's done, and then I'm gonna go check on the, um, chicken and we made turkey burgers with that um, Mediterranean Moroccan spicy mix so I'm gonna go check it out and actually maybe I'll take you with me all right guys I've never actually used this I think I showed it to you when I got it it's from CN Direct obviously from China and it comes with all these like parts um, and it's supposed to spiralize um, basically what is going on over here which is the veggie which you guys have seen me use so I'm going to go check on the chicken one more time, but then we're going to try this out and see how this works. Okay, so I think, I don't understand. <laughs> I was like, where did I put it? <laughs> I should probably read the directions, but instead... Eh, I don't have any other directions either. Do you want like a, a bowl or something? I don't know how to do it. I don't get it. Hold on. But I don't get it though. Okay. Like where's the Go. spiraling though? Like where's the spiral? There's gotta be a blade. Because it's not cutting anything, right? Is there a blade there? Yeah, but that's not gonna spiral it. I don't understand. Oh, there is a blade there. No, just try it, see what happens. Okay, so first let's let's make it flat. Probably oh, doesn't help that it's crooked, but okay. Alright. This is not too much. Wait. <laughs> um. Oh, wait. Well, that's not. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, it's coming. Uh oh, uh oh. So that's like a thicker, there's probably different blades. I think so. Oh, oh wow, is it getting on camera? Yeah. You guys, this is kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. Uh. Oh, okay, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your brother. <laughs> first that's called the vegetti, then this thing happens. So this is what, <laughs> oh it's like a little, <gasps> that would be cute for a party. If it was like, <laughs> it's a mushroom. <laughs> No? It looks like <laughs> Too far? It looks like Colton's. Yeah. And then so this is this is what that made. So that's thicker. So maybe you think there's a thinner one? Like try that. Yes. Thing. It's thinner. Right here, let me get you another one. Yeah, this is fun. Zero. 
So that's like a skinnier noodle, right? Yeah. That's much easier. They're actually like um, a better like substance than that. Right? Do you want to try it? It's really cool. Go ahead, baby. Okay, come over here. And press it this way. So push it while you... Yeah. It's probably too... Oh, oh wait. No, okay. It's probably too hard, babe. Yeah, you gotta... You gotta really push it like this. I mean, it'd be much better if I could just press a button and it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is actually... <laughs> Oops, it's the most <laughs> phallic, like, food creator I've ever used. Wow. Wow. All right, so cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of impressed a little bit. <laughs> Careful for this. <laughs> wax so let's, that. um... Wow, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Do you show them the camera? And there you go. It's my... The consistency compared to the... Yeah. Try a different one. Compared to that. It's amazing. So then this one... This one's going to be... Let's just try it. So we have three different kinds of pastas. Yes, we're going to try this one now. Now we're going to try a different one. Okay, so... Wait, let me get a bowl. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. So oh, zucchini, that's cool. Zucchini is probably better Should because... Be no. Whoa. Yeah. You could probably use a potato, too. <gasps> Sweet potato. Yeah. Go grab one. Go grab one. Speaking of, those are probably done. Let me check. Um, Here, hold that bowl for you. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I think so. Should I just turn this off? Or are we going to put it in the Yeah, you can turn it off. Do you want to do the broccoli raw? We could just throw it in there. You're right. You know what? You can almost even use this Brussels sprout pan with the to toilet paper. With the foil. Toilet <laughs> paper. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I got tired. <laughs> so this one looks like almost like french fries, right? Pretty cool. Not bad, CND Direct. <laughs> so this one's like a lot thicker, almost like um, spaghetti, oh, awesome. like real noodles, like linguine. Yeah. Wow, this thing is really cool. Okay, I'm sorry that I did not show you guys this earlier, and I'm going to apologize to the company because they sent this to me like a long time ago, and it's kind of awesome. And for like $6, it's like through China. And um, <laughs> it's not exactly the most like, what, do you, what would you say? Oh my God, it has suction at the bottom. It has a, be careful, it has suction, Tara, so it doesn't move. But what was I trying to say? Like, it's not like the most convenient. Like, this isn't going to fit on your shelf naturally. Like, it's a big, clunky piece of plastic. But I really, this is amazing. Anyways, somebody's being silly because of these doing, 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 doing. <laughs> Anyways. It's an A+. Plus. Thank you, CND Direct. Here, let me hold it up. Do a nice little picture for them. Whoa. It has suctions on the bottom, by the way. Here it is. So that you don't... Okay, hold on. What? You got wet? I'm teaching her baby jokes. Alexis! You don't have to hide. It's fine. Don't be embarrassed. Alright guys, you are now watching a yam get turned into a spiral spaghetti french fry situation. It does appear to be a little more difficult, <laughs> but um, a it's lot. working. A it's lot working. More. So I just added the spiral squash. I added a little extra of the um, Brussels sprout in that one, but it just has turkey and a sweet potato, and that's one meal. So I made a bunch of those right here and here. Oh my god, you guys, look at Sophie and Alexis.
Are you guys going to make out or? <laughs> Dear, look at this. <laughs> All right, guys, I didn't show you everything, but this is pretty much it because I got tired. So, um, yeah, and then I just ended up making some emergency baggies. You can use them for dinner, for snack, for whatever. <laughs> guys, so I don't normally pick up the camera when we go on date night. We usually go every Saturday night, but I just had to pick it up because I'm like still drowning in my closet. I got rid of another two bags to give to Thrift Giving. Um, and I'm still like, I still have so many and it's, it's pieces that I really like, I've been looking forward to wearing, but maybe they're one time events. Maybe it's just for like a fun photo shoot and then I want to get rid of them. So ugh, I'm just drowning in them. Anyways, I put on my gray t-shirt and my cut up jeans and my oversized sweater. I got at Goodwill and it's really dark in here. So I was going to try to show you, but let me see if you can really see me. I guess you can. Um, I'm just wearing my American Eagle jeggings and my uh, BCBG heels, but I've got this like choker on, just like a gold choker. But I always like, I feel like this is like a chic look, you know, like you're not trying too hard. But um, I don't know if you can see me. Anyways. I walked upstairs to go get my heavy and he was like putting on like a bow tie. I'm like, I thought we were just like casual. He's like, yeah, I got this new bow tie. I think he's coming into his own style. Maybe that's what it is. Anyways, uh, meal prep today went really, really well. I'm so happy that I did it. I'm so happy that I have, um, like everything ready to go, it feels so good. And I'm excited to kind of jump in. Um, oh, I didn't talk about it. I, uh, I don't know if you guys heard about the Summer Smash with First Form. I couldn't go last year because I went to Israel um, to, to meet some of my mom's family and to see them. And um, it was really important to us and that was just something we had to do. Well, that was the first year they did it was last year. But I was so upset. I really, I truly wanted to be there. Like. I, I feel like I know some of the first form athletes. I feel like I know some of the team and some of you guys, but I like, I really want to meet everybody. And, um, I just truly believe in who they are and what they do. And you guys see me, I mean, you know, I'm certainly not, um, like a shreds athlete, you know, you're not going to see me with a bunch of pre-workout posing, um, with a picture. And I, I don't, I don't post a lot of it, but I do get asked a lot and I think I, I do want to start writing more on the blog about the supplements and stuff. I just, every time I go to do it, it's like, I'm, I don't know. I think I put too much pressure on myself because I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not a dietitian and I don't claim to be. Um, but I just merely share what I like to use and what I use. So, you know, I just, I just give my advice. Anyways, back to Summer Smash. I think I'm going to be going it's June 18th and I technically have like eight weeks from what's today from tomorrow. I think I have eight weeks from tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. No, wait, eight weeks from today or tomorrow. Anyways, June 18th is when, um, when summer smash is and I just want to feel good. I want to look good. I want to, you know, go out there and meet. I think it'll be fun to film. I think it'll be fun to vlog and the hubby wants to come with me, I think. So we're just going to try to figure out, see if the, if we can fund it properly. Um, I thank you again for, for everyone who's ordered from first form because that directly affects me. We make commission. So if you guys use my link, um, you guys get free shipping and then we get um, a commission on that. And so Again, I, you know, I have a full-time job and this is not something that I try to push, but it's certainly helpful when it comes to things like this. So, you know, to be able to go and travel, if I can do well, then, you know, maybe it'll make it a little bit easier on me. But regardless, if any of you guys are going, please let me know down below. I'd love to set up something where we can make sure we all get together. And of course I would love our team to go, but I don't know if everybody can do that. Um, but that would be something that would be truly something to be able to get everybody but anyways my dreams of getting all of thrifters anonymous members one day um together and you know me and Edwina always talk about it 
like a destination trip or something, even if you guys came to Vegas and we planned a whole weekend. So anyways, the hubby and I are gonna be late to our reservations. Adam! I didn't even like do my makeup and he's still getting ready for our date. <laughs> it's just funny. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. We're going to Mastriani's. I'm probably gonna order some roasted vegetables and chicken. And I think I am gonna have like a glass of wine just to start off the whole first form summer smash. I gotta let everybody have it and get clean. So. I'll talk to you guys either later tonight I'll show you or I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay. You guys remember how tired I was last night? Well, I woke up this morning and I feel like I'm just sleeping for the one hour. I feel like I slept though, which is kind of different because usually I wake up and I'm talking off the bed.